So we're here at the, the Nürburgring and this is round four of the World Endurance Championship. We're massively proud of our performance at Le Mans. The whole four team is ecstatic to have the, the win. We worked extremely hard on the lead up to Le Mans. Morale is really high. In the 67 car, which is my car, we've got um, Andy Prio, three-time World Touring car champion, and Marina Franchitti, who's a former Sebring 12-hour winner. And in the 66 car, you've got Stefan Mucke from Germany, his home race this weekend, and uh, Olivier Pla. The cars are in, uh, and the uh, equipment's in good shape, and we're raring to go. Now it's time to get into the meat of the WEC season and get some good results. Six hours on the clock, and it will be six hours of total commitment and action as we go green and at least at the front of the field, over 6,000 horsepower. The board performance number 66 leading with Stefan Mucke. We're settling into a groove, but got caught up in some traffic. Fords ganging up on the Ferrari, massively aerodynamically dependent, those Fords, they are a work of genius. This is now third position in GTE Pro with the 66 Ford of Stefan Mugger. Richie Stanaway and Harry Tinknell juking it out on the circuit. They'll be coming in shortly as well. Harry did a great job in the first stint, moved us up from fifth into second when we came in. Stanaway and Tinknell make their way down pit road now. That way. Oh, there's a fire! Spilled, spilled fuel in the 67th, a light, a flashback from the fuel filler. There's fire in the cockpit. Pit stop went really well up until when we pulled the fuel probe off. For some reason, the, the valve stuck. It was the, the issue very quickly, got the car back out. We lost a decent amount of time though. Rapid response from the team and from the fire marshal there. Three hours and 51 minutes of racing still to come. I think it's going to be very, very close. So this plays into Ford's hands. That was a yeah, very good time to stop. Uh, yeah, still interesting. It's uh, very close. They're fighting all the time. We are now on a different strategy. So we, we are actually in P1 um, because our cars pitted under yellow. We have to see how the outcome is at the end. Aston versus Ford, not with their day. Here comes the Ford looking for a slingshot by the 97. The pace on the car is really good. We're putting down our fastest lap times right now. We got about 35 minutes to go. Well, the uh, breaking news there is that a drive-through penalty for the 66 for that pit, lane, pit stop infringement. Wait to see what happens to the 66 Ford because that will lose it third position. Ollie Plas gone through in fourth place for Ford, backing up their win at Le Mans. Very harsh penalty at the end. Sometimes you got to take the rough with the smooth, eh? Head off to Mexico next time, and we're going to go show them what we've got. Hopefully we can, can make our way towards the championship. We'll do our best.